Hello everyone, I um, hope you have a good day. Uh, today I bring to you the, uh, the uh, gold uh, chart, uh, which is um, what I have in my screen here. So, uh, in uh, just giving you the background of, uh, of this, right? so I have the sales team, uh, the sales team of the four people, right? and uh, I have a target for each of them. Let's say I pick the guy it look uh, finite, and he have a target for this year is five hundred thousand, and uh, his here is around forty percent. So he, he the uh, the needle here showing that he have less than. Uh, 50 percent right so you see the people in the red area we see you see we see not good people in the orange we see okay need to improve but people in the green area uh, of the of the gold chart here it means he doing well right? so i filter for another people so you can see so andrew here uh, you know we have uh, uh, you know 84 percent right? so how to do this so let me um, before we go uh, into the build this visualization so let me share with you what i have in the background in the data um so so so, so simple is is i have uh, okay four people uh sales teams here and then the target for each of them and then the year to day performance right uh, I have a chart here. I uh, I build this in Excel and I copy uh, I, I copy and paste. Just use it for the uh, for the tableau. Right? I I save it in the image trial. And also I have uh, some formula here. If you are familiar with the mathematical formula, you can see so this is the formula in order to create the uh, x um, the point in the x and the point in the y axis. So don't worry about the structure of this of this formula. Just uh, use it, copy and paste it. So now I close it in order to allow the tableau to access into the file. So I start from from fresh. Right? So a uh, few things I do here. Uh, the first thing is uh, I create a year today uh, percentage. So I take the sale divided by target. It's easy, right? And um, you know, in order to have this. Uh, uh, the, the charts I need to create the um, x and y axis. So uh, I shared with you earlier on the formula. So I say the formula in here. Right? I say if the um, parameter um, call the name of a cell person and it's gonna be uh, this uh, this point gonna be uh, created in the x axis of the x axis here. Otherwise, to put it one, one means equal with 100%. Right? Okay, and for the y axis, I do the same, but in test of using the cost function, I use the size function here. So, just say again, if the, if the name of the cell person is called, is selected, so I use this one, it just the formula in to create the, um, the point in the in the y axis otherwise to put 100 percent okay okay and then now uh, i have these uh, the parameter as well so the parameter is just to select the cell name okay and then i print x into and i bring y into right so i have these actually i have these uh, uh, this uh, x and y uh, coordinates now. So I will bring the sale person into uh, detail. Right? So by this way, so we can have uh, a, this uh, the light. Uh, okay, so it's, it's, it's open automatic select to the light. So it will connect here. So you can see the um, the formula I use in x and y. It work now. Right? If S here, S equal uh, chords, right? So uh, multiply with uh, with some people, some some element according to the function. Um, if no, and then it go to the one percent. Okay, and um, let me select another name. Yeah. It, oh, it 
move in here so I need to fix the formula here I need to fix the range of the um, axis here so it's gonna be central in one so will be here let's look into the data to see yeah so I see x will be y will be 2.5 from 1 to 2.5, S will be 1. Right. So we're back in here. Say, oh, S will be equal to 1. If I change to another guy, disappear. So I need to put here two point five as well. Here we go. Two point five one here, so it's one point five. So this one check one. So this should be uh, negative zero point five. Yeah. Okay. And then that we start from here. So I start for the y is start of one. Okay, because check the uh, semicircle. Okay, so now I have a um, when I talk about the people, so that's gonna you know, moving. Right? Okay, and then uh, I just change the size a little bit. Uh, I change the color to the okay, and now I put the uh, background images in. Okay, so I have it here to put it in to look into the edits. Right, so we have uh, negative 0 0.5. Okay, so bottom is 1, go to 2.5, x will be 0 0.5 to 2.5. Okay, that's good. So let's put it in. Okay, so now we have it. Yeah. We just have some uh, some yeah, some axis here. So let format the background. Just remove it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, don't draw that Okay, and now I remove the header. So we have these, uh, actually we have uh, the, uh, we've got uh, charts now. Right? So when we move, it's a chain. Right? So now what we need to do is just uh, do the couple of formatting to put the uh, um, label in here, the target in here. Right? So uh, what I did is just here, I just uh, print the uh, target into and then I put the uh, parameter here just filter the right guy right? When, when we select here the, the target will change and uh, I do this um, the dashboard I created the dashboard I bring it in and I put this label in here so now the, so now you have uh, in the dashboard the full of the uh, goal chart so you see it so now I have it moving Okay, I hope you enjoyed the uh, short uh, section today on the goal chart and um, this, 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 uh, this visualization can be used, you know, into the uh, compare the performance versus with the KBI target or you can uh, uh, do the um, auto speeder uh, for the car or, you know, it's, uh, it's more to look into the, uh, the progress or the speed of the movement. So thank you very much for your watching and uh, have a good